Right, hello everybody, I'm SegaFan1986 and I'm going to show you some of the reason, reason, recent additions to my collection. Right, this stuff's basically been arriving item by item all week. So, first thing is Desert Strike for the Mega Drive. One of my favourite games, I mean most people have heard of this. Fantastic game, everybody who owns a 16-bit era system should have this. Um, this is the definitive version. Uh, I mean, there was a port on the an Amiga. There's a cut-down port for the uh, SNES, but it didn't have the sound, whatnot. But so for me, this is the best version. The condition isn't great. Cart's been heavily used, but then that's to be expected of this game. Came out in 1990. I'm not sure actually. Uh, manual. Manual clips on the case are broken, so I'll have to replace that at some point. And you probably can't see this on the on the um, camera, but it is actually quite faded too. Uh, but never mind. Very good game. One of the first I remember having. When did it come out actually? 1992. Yeah, by Electronic Arts. Back when they were good. Then a year later. This came out, got this a few days ago, I've already run through it and completed it. Almost mint condition. Better graphics, more sound. Um, a fantastic game. Again, in my opinion, should be in everybody's collection. Let's open that. Very stiff, you can tell that it hasn't been open much. Right, <laughs> it's not even going to stay open, is it? Uh, cartridge it looks new maybe they brought it didn't like it for whatever reason it's all these EA cartridges as well with the stupid big cartridges with the yellow tags which means you can't just replace the boxes you got to find the EA ones but that's okay ignore that that's what I put in a lot of my games where I write down as I'm playing through them tim tips levels hints cheats that sort of thing as you go through and unlock the game um, manual as well very very good condition very good when I'm buying a game I don't like to buy loose carts unless they're dirt cheap and I mean dirt cheap I always try and get the box complete with manual because that's what I like for my collection anyway other game I got this week uh, Urban Strike this is the third and final one for the 16-bit consoles again better graphics better sound you probably can't see that on my crappy camera but Jungle Strike and Urban Strike are pretty much mint now, this is feeling quite light don't know why, but again, it's quite stiff. Not as stiff as Jungle Strike. I'm sure there's a million jokes to be made there. Uh, cart, almost new, so that's good. And the manual. The reason it's a lot lighter is the manual's a lot thinner. I'm not sure why. What else? Ah, uh, yes, this is my original control pad came with my um, uh, Mega Drive that I brought a while back and it's okay but the buttons D, D and C are okay starts a bit shit D-pad's very stiff to control now especially on those games um, and the A button you have to push four or five times before it registers so you know off to eBay I went to get a new control pad and I managed to find a competition pro now for me, I know some people don't like these, but for me, uh, these are the best, best Mega Drive controllers you can get. Six buttons, start button there. On the back, you have a uh, slow motion switch, and we all know how shit those are, because all that does is pause, start, pause, pause, unpause, pause, unpause, yada, 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 yada. Um, <clears throat> so we all know they're crap. 
but there we are it's got it it's got a mode button which I'm not entirely sure what that does I know it involves turning the system off holding it down turning the system on and it's for a compatibility thing for some older games but I'm not sure exactly what and on top you got all your full control you might just be able to see that in that position it's off so the buttons function as normal on that they're turbo fire so you push the button and it'll be turbo fire or well, that it's automatic turbo fire so you don't even have to push the button it's constantly shooting and you can set all these up to however you like very nice very nice now on my romp through ebay I also came across this a boxed almost mint competition pro which chuffed me to no end I had to buy this as soon as I saw it I'm not going to open it Ah, oh, why the hell not? I will open it. The interesting thing, I don't know if I'll be able to show you on camera. It is already opened, I will stress that. I haven't just opened something that's never been opened before. It is opened, and I have used it, and it works fine. But there we go. Almost, almost new. Or as new as it can be, really. But what I like about this, which I'd forgotten since I was a kid, is there's no instruction manual with it. It's all written on the box. So there's... You can't probably make that out with my camera. I will hopefully get a new camera soon. But just a quick overview of it. There. Now, the last thing I've brought, which a lot of people overlooked back in the day... Which, looking back now, now I'm a bit of a, um, I don't know how you'd say it now, a bit of a prof uh, perfectionist with my picture quality. I like decent quality TVs, decent quality cables. Something I overlooked back in the day. An RGB SCART cable. Now, this isn't an original. This is a reproduction made by a company called Retro Computer Shack. Now, this only costs... Uh, what was it 10.99 with free delivery it is a very very good cable very good quality long I think it's well over the standard length um, you can see very long cable uh, but it has a splitter at the bottom now this is for a mass a mega drive one I don't know if it's compatible with a master system I have a master system too and there's no socket for this but that's where it plugs in to your Master System uh, Mega Drive One, and it's got this cable that comes off that plugs in to your to the front of the Master System One, that then gives you stereo sound through your TV using the system's um, headphone jack. And the advantage of that, if you're really lazy, is you can then use the volume on the console to actually change the volume. Very cool. Very cool. Um, but yeah, these are readily available, these cables are by no means rare, and they are essential. The difference between the ship pipe RG, what's it, um, RF cable and the RGB SCAR is monumental. So anyway, I hope you've uh, found this somewhat interesting. Thank you, I've been Sega Fan 1986 and more of this sort of stuff to come.